the, the correction possibly for the recreation committee that does actually one request versus two requests. Oh, okay. Um, other than that, I have nothing. Yeah, when Matt sent me another quote, uh, I sent it to him and I wasn't as descriptive as I should have been pertaining to the okay. basketball court and our formal request. Uh, I took it home so we could get it on there with it, and it was accidentally, by my fault, put as a different agenda item than Thank what you. it meant to be. Okay. So those two, those are just two separate quotes for the same oh, job. The same job. So okay. We have more transparency as well as the basketball uh, goals uh, that I have as well. It's all school okay. Managers. All right, we'll get the math sorted out when we get there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, updates. The Lamoille Kennel lease, the installation quotes, the contract. Um, Brent has a contract here that he, like a, a draft um, that he sent to the lawyers. The interlocal agreement I sent a draft yes. to. So that's the interlocal agreement that we would go and cooperate <laughs> with other towns. Uh, and I did it as an individual interlocal agreement so we could critique and mold it like with a really small community that probably couldn't afford what Morrisonville and Johnson could, we'd be able to work with them on that. On certain deal, the lease is the actual lease agreement uh, for the first year. And everything that I've asked for in that is included in, it's in the wordage there. And I really felt hesitant bringing the select, before the select board, the quotes on the ARPA fund request to update the kennel area just because we didn't have any ironclad uh, lease agreement. Now, since we do, I believe that we're, I'm more comfortable in uh, us moving forward with ARPA funds for the updates to the kennel that we, we are gonna require. Yeah, so we had, the last meeting we had uh, approved the money from ARPA, well, relocated it. Um, to reallocated it to um, Allie. So she should be getting these together. Yeah, which those are the, that's the ones we allocated the amount for the bedding and for the rock and fencing, but we didn't have a quote for the labor to put that that's in. Correct. And that's why she, I said, we need quotes. Yep. Uh, she presented them to me and those are the three quotes that I'm presenting to y'all. and. It's up to select work which one they want to move forward with. Uh, she did have, uh, so far with looking over the history of the three, the third, the, the second one is the most favorable that I haven't seen no issues with or any discrepancies from their prior work history or anything like that. So. So the bushwhackers is the one that's 900. Yes, that was the lowest. Yeah. And again, no problems with anybody, but the most favorable I've seen when you're looking through and you see reviews and stuff like that, the, I didn't see any negative against anybody, but I saw more of the positives with the second quote that the you The spear had. designs. Yes. Okay, so the... Do we do we just pick one? Do we? That's that's yep. up to the select. Yep. All right. Do you guys want to please? Well, right, and it looks like yeah, it looks like they're bidding because door installation, no frame. Yeah, it looks like Spear has more included too. Yes. Yeah. That's right. right. Yeah. Yeah. My vote is can I, I make the motion to go with the sphere designs for thirteen hundred dollars for the installation of the fence panels, the stone spreading, the door installation, the lock, the electric lock installation, and the sign installation. I'll second that. Just before I agree, only because the Number wise, I didn't get to look at the spear include 
entirety and, and the other one not? Is that all? Uh, no, it sounds like they all do. Um, oh, one estimate was for 900 and then one's for $2,250. With the yeah, the 900. Yeah, the only I'm seeing. So, yeah, hang on. Let me look at this. I just say, so, so why, why wouldn't we go with the lowest number? If they, if they don't have a negativity, it's, I mean. Well, I, it no. Say yes. that it's going to install the sign. Right. I was going to say, it's not ball, really. It's not exactly the same. And then the bushwhacker yeah. says something about an air purifier and the other one doesn't. So I guess we need to make sure they we get quotes to include everything. Because like they're the quotes are equal quotes for all the work we need done. Well, and then the you got the other the G and H custom builders. That one's double the price. I don't know about it. It, you're, yeah, right. They were two thousand two hundred and fifty. Right, and he's labor only. It doesn't include the stone. I don't think any of them included the stone. Oh, yep. He's they just spreading spread it. it. Yep, you're right. Yep, I see that. And so, Matt, why I said the second one is Brent's observation of reviews and work. Right. And yeah, I just don't want to set that precedence of not using the low bid or if unless there was a negativity or, you know, I, I totally get it. Just. Well, and he doesn't include everything that that as long as that's the reasoning. I haven't been able to review it, so I'm sorry. I, I can't comment. I just cheapers normally normally the lower bidder wins, but don't want to discourage people to say, well, they just chose somebody else or because it's, you know, I don't know who Spear is neither. I just want to make sure it's not we're choosing somebody that we have a preference versus numbers. As long as it's an inclusive bid. So, so according to this, this the the thirteen hundred dollar bid includes the same as the nine hundred dollar bid, except for installation of the lock on the door and the installation of the sign. Right. And the air purifier. And well, this one says potentially install air purifier. The other one doesn't mention at all. What is that? <laughs> yeah. What, what does that mean? What is potentially, it potentially cause the third one? Oh, well, it doesn't say install air purifier. Yep. So, I mean, they're not giving quotes on the same thing, which is hard to make a decision when they're not they're giving us quotes for everything. I think, let's see, A, we need to get this done. Yeah. I was just going to say, do we we really I can't wait say, another month. We, we, we need to get this done. So we got a motion yes, on the table to go with actually the quote that's in the middle. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So hold on. I think Matt might be right. You know, like. I mean, so it's nine. $400 more. Is it four, is $400 worth installing a lock installation and sign? And Probably. The, yeah, because the sign is important because we want to distinguish. But I'm just saying, like, is it does that cost like is that what it costs to install that? Like, is that I don't know. Like, could we find out from Bush Records what they would charge to do those two things? We could, but then we're a month out. I know. Yeah. Yeah, we well, you can, you can do a special meeting. We could, you know, but I can I can get with these three and send them a specific bid request and what we're asking for under the bid, which if that would if that would help. <laughs> I mean, it's again it's y'all's choosing, but if I'll specific on what they're doing, give them what we're asking them to do and, and submit new bids and everybody being on level playing field where one person's thinking, well, I thought we were just doing this, and another person's upset good. because well, my bid would have been different because you're asking me to do A, B, and C when they're just doing A, B. So, I think that's I mean, a good I, idea. I can do that uh, yeah. if you want me to. No problem at all. Whatever y'all. I think we should do. because then you're right. It is fair and then it's. And I do understand right. what Matt is yeah. saying too. I totally. Yeah, I mean, I right. do too. Well, we can do a quick, from here, we can do a quick phone, you know, yep. conversation to. Yeah, because they're definitely not. They're, they're not quoting the same yep. things. 
I just don't want to set a precedence that says, you know, hey, we chose this guy because he's middle of the row. And then, I mean, we get into that. What's the value in having a low bid then? You know, I can understand we we had negative review. We don't. Yeah, but we don't always go a little bit and low bid isn't always right. Yeah. We don't have that rule that we go with a little bit. We wouldn't be setting a precedent, but I see what you're saying. No, I understand what you're saying as well. So, so whatever. Okay, cool. All right. So we'll have um, Brent talk with the three of them and make sure everybody's bidding yes. on exactly the same thing. Yes. And then we can do a quick phone call. He can send us an email. We can do a quick phone call to thank you. Approve what we need to do. No, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, just a couple of notes here. Um, so for the special meeting, that still needs to be warned. So if you let me know at least 24 hours in advance, I can distribute all that. Unless we want to set the time now. And yes, set the we time do. Now. Yes, we do. Okay, let's stop right there. Um, <laughs> we can't keep pushing this off. So yeah, let's set some deadlines. Do you want to put it out to next Tuesday at... How about Friday? Friday? Yeah. Next Friday? This Friday. This Friday. Okay. What time? I'm good for any time that's not between 9 and 10. Not that I necessarily need to be here, but. No, right. We can all <clears throat> we can all call them. Yeah, there needs to be one. In... One, uh, one human has to be here? Yes. Yes. Okay. That's going to change at some point, but yes. We'll stick with that. Right. Hopefully prefer? they can, they'll be able to get bids together by then. Yeah, yeah. I'll give them until end of day Thursday to have them in. Whoever okay. doesn't get theirs in by the required time is just out just, of it. No. <laughs> okay, Sounds Friday, good. Friday afternoon. What what works for you? I can make it work. Yeah. Well, no, just what is the morning better? Um. Yeah. Nine but, nine o'clock in the morning. You can't do nine. Uh, Completely okay. We Brent can we can record. But yeah, that's all. Okay, you can take minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Nine o'clock would be great on Monday, uh, Friday. Friday, Friday else could okay. Do it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> not PM. <laughs> well, I'll be asleep. <laughs> okay, so nine a.m. We'll get. Uh, let's see, one of us. Okay, I will. I'll come down. You better make yourself a note. <laughs> And that's right yeah. to go back so we have the motion is seconded so do you want to withdraw the motion or do you want to fail the I motion? want to withdraw the motion yeah and do you second mm, yeah I can know. okay okay green update So I've been working with Don on that. Um, Two Sons Bakehouse, we're coordinating with them to offer coffee or bagels and type of refreshments. There was, I believe, 1,500, 1,500, pretty sure it's 1,500 in the Green Up Day Community Fund. Um, not sure how much the coffee and bagels will cost individually. Dawn is going to find out in the next day or two. One of the things that she brought up or we brought up was offering a reward to people who report findings of dumping, such as what Morseville and Loyal County Police Department are doing for reporting what they find. Um, I defer that <laughs> to those funds, and I don't know how to necessarily orchestrate that. What kind of proof do you need? Like, so that was a thought that I'm ready to like, to decide. I, I would not head down that road. <laughs> well, I mean, I would not head down that road. What's the, the, the goal, though? I mean, well, to find, to find sites that are dumped and get them cleaned up. Okay. But having, offering, people um, incentive to turn people in. But I mean, 
it's easy to find a site, but you're not going to know who dumped there unless they, personal, unless they left I, personal items. There. That's the only that's the only time. And then you're going to start going through the trash to see if you can find out. Yeah, and that can that can lead to dangerous things. I mean, yeah. that that could potentially be dangerous. Yeah, I. I is there anything that the site board would like to do, or just stick with the two sons big house and left there? Two two sons big house. That's it. Yep. Yep. Oh, sounds good. Um, is there a certain amount you don't want the green up to exceed in that? Again, I'm not exactly sure how that finance works, but if that's a shared fund or if we're looking for multiple events, I'm not sure. I know that don't. Was the roll off, so it's already been ordered. It's already, uh, we have it set to be by the highway department up there, so it's out of the way. It's up there, okay. It will be, yes. Amount Jen, Saturday. Do we don't we have a green up amount? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much? Is, how much money is there? Fifteen hundred. Yeah. So we have the roll off. Yeah, the cost oh. tires. Do we get a lot of tires? My Ryan's here with me, Justin, just for notes. Oh, thank you. Do you get a lot of tires? You do. So we have to pay for disposal of tires. Fifteen hundred. Do we know what we spent last year? Uh, y'all, we uh, yeah. y'all spent close to eighteen hundred dollars. I mean, uh, yeah. Okay. And we didn't do coffee and bagels. Ouch. So we yeah, time. we're already overspent in the community events and green. Up. It is a shared. It is shared. Okay. So two thousand last year, three six was spent. Oh. Right. So again, what what were the numbers so folks know? Last I'm looking year. at it, the, the, the budget it was 2000 the actual at the end of the year was $286, so I'm assuming y'all spent $1,720 that okay. year during Green Up Day. Okay. And we didn't do coffee and bagels. The dumpsters are expensive. Mm -hmm. Entire whatever. Yeah. That they budgeted, but they spent yeah. that much. Actually. Susan? Yeah. Miss Mark, we did not do a tire pickup last year, so you can't go by last year's budget number because those would be combined in this year, so we didn't have a lot lot. So he'll have a truckload this year. So that expense was not in last year's. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Which will be in this year. And it was in the year the prior year, but not last year. And it'll be in this year's. So there'll be added expense there. Okay. How much was the roll off? Anyone know that? Mark, would you possibly have a number or Jen? Jen, right? It goes by weight, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure what our roll off usually goes. Like on average or? Just overall what they spent last year on Green Up Day, how that budget. Yeah. And was it just basically the dumpster? The dumpster alone is four hundred and twenty-three ninety from twenty twenty-two. Oh, that's not bad. Well, but I think that's just the rental. Correct. And you pay for your trash by the weight. Yeah, and then and then we get when they pick it up, you get charged. Yeah, by the weight. Well, 423 seems like an odd number. That didn't include it all? I think that was the bill for green up yeah. in 2022. Right. Yeah. Usually the Casella bill is like 200 a month. So what was the rest of that money spent on? <laughs> this year? 
I'm, this I year? read that the budget said 2000 the actual said 286 so I read that as we actually spent 286 so the 1700 left over but is that is that the opposite I don't know what you're reading but I was just you looking the at town the report. town report report I don't have a copy of that in front of me. Yeah, Jen, how much money is there in the Green Up Day Fund right now? It's overspent. Um, the budget's fifteen hundred, and we've spent twenty one eighty five ninety. Okay, the that's next shared with it's shared with like GVH if they do any sort of um, events. It's it's a shared. With with who? With community events like um oh, so okay. So it isn't just does it as well. Gotcha. No, it's not just Green Up Day. So we kind of need to rename the yeah, line. I was gonna I think. say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. Would you uh, like it? I can break it out. Yeah, no, 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 that's okay. So let's see. That line is already overspent. Um but but, but but if we share it, but 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 if we share it with Guyon for community events, don't they bring in money, Jen? That kind of offsets that sometimes. So maybe we would have a little more money towards green up, or no? Some sometimes, but they, sometimes? okay, yeah, but not in this case. <laughs> I was trying. Is it, is it is it there a town something or other you know like when we do things for the office or that sort of stuff Jim what's the what's the line that you know when we do things for the office or you know like when we bought all the daffodil bulbs and got everybody to plant them along the road like an engagement top one of them. you're talking about miscellaneous fees i'm sorry what are you talking about like miscellaneous i, a miscellaneous I, I don't line? know that's what i'm asking you is there a line that you know i would say it's probably miscellaneous uh, good old which miscellaneous. we do have yeah there's about 600 in the miscellaneous ah, charges right. budget <laughs> I mean, I would love to say, I mean, we don't need to talk about this for hours, right? But Two Sons is a local business in our village, and I would love to give them some some business for the for Green Up Day. I just think it oh, would yeah, right. just, just so we good. Out, where to get the money. So, if, But I we, mean, yeah. are we talking like, what kind of, we haven't really decided on an amount. So like, are we thinking $200 or are people well, thinking more than that? Just I think, yes, I think we're working our way backwards from how much money do we have, so how much money can we spend? Oh. Okay, so we got one line that was overspent, so that one's not much help, but ah, miscellaneous. <laughs> we could, and getting close to the end of the year, so we could use that, because I agree, to, to pay two sons and and um, <laughs> figure out where the green up was from. And the tires and all that stuff. If that's still a issue, yeah, but it doesn't sound as though it was that ter you know. But the tires, he said, there's yeah, yeah, the tires will be. But I recall a couple of years ago they gave us a pretty decent break on the tires too. Yeah, I mean so they're, they're they're quite generous with these things. So yeah. So so what what if we do uh, two hundred to two sons and. See if the other four hundred covers the rest of, of you know the dumpster and stuff. Yeah, and worst case, we do the tires in a couple months, and it goes in next year's budget. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe we won't get many tires; we won't have to worry about it. Oh, that, yeah, <laughs> that's a dream, but yeah, that is a dream, right? <laughs> So does that work for you guys? Matt, what do you think? I'm all right with it. Okay. So how about a 
um, motion to raid miscellaneous. So I move that we raid miscellaneous, that we <laughs> borrow some money from miscellaneous up to $200 to buy or two sons, two from two sons, um, bagels and coffee for green update. Okay, got a second? I'll second it. That's <laughs> okay, you good with it, Chess? Matt? We got, yeah. Got, okay, motion for $200 to uh, the two sons for coffee and bagels or coffee and cookies or whatever they want to do um, on green up day. Terrific. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. And to clarify, so the 600 miscellaneous, we're using 200 of that, the 400 are just staying in the miscellaneous for now? Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, next, the town office postage machine. Just a point, the Hyde Park newsletter was next. I distributed it. Y'all have the updated version if you have any oh, yeah, you know. yeah. okay, That's my update. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you see we got a, a memo from Kim. Um, she recommends that we lease it. I think that's a good idea. We need to do it because the village is. Oh yeah, we definitely we gotta we gotta yep. have. The So I guess we need a motion to approve leasing the um, absolute office equipment for a 36 month period at $71.95 a month. I make that motion. It looks like we need to vote to for her to sign it too, right? For Kim to sign the agreement, sorry. Probably. Yeah, she's in her note. She's asking for a vote to approve her to sign the lease agreement. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So just right. my, my thumb was in the way. <laughs> we'll both do this, Susan. We okay. got it. <laughs> um, okay, so we got motion. I will make the motion. Yes. Uh, okay. Sign. We got a second. I'll no. second that. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. The liquor license approval. Mm -hmm. We get this next. Whoops. Ten bands. It's for both of them are for 10 bed, but it's two, right? Like correct. Yeah. Yeah. I make the motion to approve both of 10 bands. Do I have to make two motions or can I just nah, you can do one. one? You can do one. Um to approve both um liquor licenses. Yeah. And I have a separate license to drink outside. Right. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all in favor of approving the two, the first class restaurant bar license and the outside consumption permit for 10 bends, signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Who's seconded? This is the automatic pair. See, then, then Matt second. doesn't. Matt yeah, doesn't I, I seconded leave. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Okay. Next, the town clerk proclamation, the 55th annual professional municipal clerks week. <laughs> Double saying that. That's for. Um, I feel silly, but what are we approving here? Like this is Clerks Week. What do the, we we are acknowledging the proclamation and saying and signing the proclamation? Okay. That we are 
declaring declaring May fifth through, through the eleventh as professional. What might be problem is professional municipal clerks week, and further extend appreciation to our professional municipal clerk, Kimberly Moulton, and all professional municipal clerks for the vital services they perform and their exemplary dedication to the communities they represent. Yep. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and do we don't, do we need a motion or do we just need to sign it? I think just sign it. I think just sign she, it, right? She said, she said, oh, yeah, it's to be safe. Might as well do a motion and then you're. Okay. Uh, and then we're safe. Just for us to sign this. No, I will second that. Okay. <laughs> all, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Hmm. Okay. Everybody opposed? Anybody sustaining? Okay. We know we can't do anything with contracts, so we we'll go to executive session. Uh, the interlocal agreement renewal. It seems like we want to get done it and then we start again. Do we ever are we ever gonna be in a manner where we get a month off? <laughs> no. No. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just so, checking. So I have to, this should be um this is more of just a standard agreement and renewal. Right. So yeah, coming mm -hmm. up with the June thirtieth deadline and expiration of the contract. Um Friday, May third, nine AM, everyone's confirmed. Should be good. Bringing up the reappraisal and compensation, which is make sure we're on, on the same page regarding the schedule for that. Um, and clarifying the responsibilities not included in the infocal agreement, for example, board of safety. And with this discussion point, we'll have an update again in May. Okay. Um, the the uh, Nimric townwide reappraisal agreement. Sorry, can I just interrupt for one second? So so Ryan was was here waiting for the union part just before he leaves. Does anyone have any questions for him regarding the union contract? I think he was kind of thinking that you guys might have questions before we discussed it. I don't. I, I don't know that we've got any questions before we discuss it because okay. I don't think we've talked about it at all, have we? The union contract? We haven't discussed it. No, so we um, so we No, they presented they presented us with a letter that we all should have looked at prior yes. to this meeting. So that's why he's joining, wondering if anyone had any questions. <laughs> right. But we have but we none of again, we got the letter, but we haven't talked about it. So I don't think we have anything I think after executive session and we talk about it, then we may have questions. Okay. So he should he should he should go sit in the sun as it's going down and enjoy it. <laughs> no, I'm actually doing that and they're going to dinner. So. Oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. You're good. Yeah. But thank you. And we'll I'm I'm sure we'll have uh I can't believe we won't have questions after. Okay. I have an additional agenda. I feel like we gave you one. Oh, you do? I do. Oh. You got to pretty much halfway through it, right? Um, before your executive thing starts. Maybe. Well, let's. You never know where we're going to where we're going to fly. Can we? What can we do for you? Well, I had a question about. Uh, I looked on the High Park website, and I cannot find this paving schedule for Centerville Road. That's like the Ho Chi Minh Trail. Right. Can you ask it? Can you ask him to come to the to the oh, to the yeah. microphone? Like right. So yeah, yeah. I'm just going to say the same thing, Matt. No, no. Right when you're away, so, and introduce yourself. Yes, uh, I'm Bill Engel. I live on Centerville Road, and uh, my question is the uh, paving schedule. And uh, when I, I couldn't find anything on the website, and I'd like to see what the schedule is and when Centerville Road will be paved. I heard talk that it's getting paved this year. Um, it's probably the worst road in that in the general area. 
I'd say there may be a competition, but unfortunately, on well, the wrong way, yeah. It, right. If oh, you yeah. compare oh, uh, Center Railroad with North Hyde Park Road and the, the missing material, um, I have pictures on my it's phone of uh, material that's been taken out of the road for patches over and over. And um, I would invite anybody to uh, yeah. pull their car over by the, the, the dairy farm and just walk up Centerville Road to the end of the pavement. And right. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really bad. And there's an especially bad spot where the, um, uh, at the culvert there where the road rises, uh, people are going into the oncoming lane so that they don't- they get around it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's been uh, patched over and over. And uh, it's also creating a, uh, there's a problem where the fire uh, grooves are becoming deep enough to hold water. Mm -hmm. So even if they scrape the edge of the road, it would still hold water and it's uh, coming into people's uh, driveways. So um, it's not only is it becoming a safety hazard, uh, but I really would say that um, Centerville Road should be the priority over North Hyde Park Road. You can drive, drive all the way up to Ferry Street and not find any sections on on uh, North Hyde Park Road that are as bad as that stretch of Centerville Road. Well, please leave. I'll get your name and number. I'll look sure. at it and I'll address it with our highway form and I'll get back with okay. you, sir. Yeah, yeah. Because right, we don't, that would be great. This is the time of year when just sort of figuring yeah. that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's... Uh, it's it's bad and getting worse, and uh, the last well, we, time... to, to, you might be able to explain to him that this yeah. year we at town meeting voted to have a uh, a reserve fund for paving because we recognize that we have done sections of that in various years, but the problem is is we have a we have a paving budget of I think it's two hundred thirty five thousand dollars a year, and that doesn't get you very far. So it was our intent to with reserve funds, be able to make a project and bank the money to, to make a whole project big enough to, to repair the whole sections. So I, I don't know that we have anything scheduled right off, but that's, that, it, that was our intention. So. Okay. Well, um, uh, as far as prior prioritizing any of the roads, um, I think that just to drive on, on any of these roads, mm -hmm. which uh, pretty much settle uh, anybody's opinion on which road should be paved. Um, and that's uh, uh, without, uh, like, I have no way to know uh, what, what's going to happen until you guys decide, you know, what, what gets paved first, but um, it would be really informative. Um, uh, I know some people do drive on Center Rail Road, but um, it's a, it's, it is bad. And people are uh, veering around to try to avoid the potholes. Susan? Yeah? So Centerville is our main priority. Yeah. And North Hyde Park Road was too, up to just past the Benson Road, which is just as bad as Centerville. And actually, if you plow, it's probably actually worse because that's where the plow catches the most. Okay. Is that section coming back on the south lane. But Centerville is definitely our main priority this year and hoping to get up just past Benson Road on North High Park Road from Centerville. There you go. Okay. So uh, it's looking like Centerville Road will get paved this year? That's our plan is Centerville from uh, just before the farm stand. Right. And it should go just past Mead Road. Okay. We're actually trying to hope to get just past Mountain View Estates. Yeah. So you're saying... But that is definitely our <clears throat> for this year. That's okay. our payment plan for this year, for sure. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. That's that's my questions, but um, you guys are fascinating, so I'm going to sit over here and listen. Sure. No, no, we're always, yeah. <laughs> we're always happy, happy to have company. <laughs> okay. Um, a little side detour, but. <clears throat> The uh, appraisal agreement, right? The appraisal agreement. So I've talked with Nimric. Um, we have the proposed agreement here for a signature. I should made another copy, but we'll get there. Yeah. Um, I talked with them about the procedure for that and the town involvement. 
We'll keep going and doing our regular inspections as usual for 2026 brand list, 2027 brand list, the 2028 brand list. The NIMRIC staff will be doing the inspections, et cetera, whereas the listers and myself would be um, doing the scheduling and printing. We have to order the postcards, do other different things. So that is my update there. And Proposed motion to approve it if the select board likes. And we should, by that time, there should be plenty of money to cover the cost, right? That was the hope. Um, we have around 14, between 14 and 16,000 annually coming in. Right. And there was around 114 in the budget. Right. So we've looked at that last meeting, right? 168 for the reappraisal. Yep. Making sure that we're also understanding that um, if there are subdivisions or gaining of parcels, then it's hundred dollars more each parcel per parcel right. now. Right. Okay. I think we've. I, I'm comfortable with this one. I've reviewed this one, and I know I'll. I'll make the motion to approve it. It's a three year plan. Yep. We've got to get on the books eventually, and we know we're we're nowhere out. Yep. I'm gonna say it's like every every everybody's out, but this is the right. <laughs> Here, here's the plan, and we will have, fortunately, oh, be enough money to to cover the full cost by the time we get it done. Okay, need a second for Matt's motion. I will second that. Okay. Um, all in favor of approving the reappraisal agreement with Nimrick? Aye. <clears throat> Signify by saying aye. She's aye. ready. Aye. <laughs> I thought you were like, not finish your sentence. <laughs> Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Finance and Administrative Manager, your town website. I will say, I apologize, Jen, I have not begun to follow up with Civic and look into the information regarding those websites. Okay. So I did a little shopping around. Um, Lisa Clancy offered to redesign our website for us for about $4,000. And she thought it would take anywhere from four to six months. Uh, it would be using the same platform that we're currently using. Um, and then she had mentioned that Civic Plus just redid Morseville's website. And I was in contact with Morseville and they were really pleased with the outcome um, of their new website. Uh, so I did a like a demo with them. I provided you a quote from them. Um, and then uh, Justin uses Revise at St. George and he <laughs> Him and I had a demo with them, and I provided you with uh, yeah. a quote from them as well. Uh, they're on the cheaper side. They have some cool functions that Civic Plus doesn't necessarily have. Um, but, yeah, um, I think anything's kind of better than what we currently have and was just hoping for some support and choosing a new provider with some ARPA funds. Um, Civic Plus has a really great search engine uh, that you can filter out uh, what you are looking for on the website. I spend hours going through meeting minutes, looking for motions uh, for things that pertain to my position. And it would just, 
it would be nice not to spend hours looking <laughs> through minutes and yeah you know and have have to have an, a nicer look and feel for our residents as well so um revise is on the cheaper side um but i feel like uh civic plus if you know we're we're a growing town i don't know where we'll go from here they have lots of add-on services that could help us along you know down the line um obviously it's a little bit more of a cost at around four thousand dollars annually um but what, what's our annual cost yeah. now jen zero <laughs> right yeah but we haven't redesigned we haven't redesigned our website in almost 12 13 mm -hmm. years so you've demoed them all. you've demoed them all what was your favorite personally i liked civic plus but i did there were there were things with revised that were nice um as well and justin has personal experience I asked him a few questions and I didn't get a response from him yet. I know he's a busy guy, so I you know he might have more to say about revise. My my thoughts, I can't compare it to Civic Plus, Civic Plus, unfortunately. But Revise had an option that you can change the colors of the website to personalize to you. So I could say I want a black background with white writing and so on and so forth, and I can do it just for me as a resident. Um, and I can also do it as an employee too. So, and they also have a feature where you can click a button and change the language to the entire website. They have 10, 20 something different languages available. Wow. So that was a really cool feature. What's, what's revised yearly cost? It's 32 for the first year and 1200 annually after. Thank you. I think this is a fantastic use of ARPA money to get oh, this done for sure. Yeah, I think it's important. If nothing, if something is not on the internet anymore, then it's right. Exactly. I get a ton of complaints about our website too. So yeah, I have it, too. It, it is due. It's clunky, I and mean, it's probably because it's old. I didn't realize it had been that many years, so that would explain it. <laughs> so, so how do we decide which one to use to do? I guess it really depends on where you want to go in the future with the website and how much you're willing to invest in having this be, you know, our online office for residents mm -hmm. and think it's important like you could look in the future of paying bills online or your right uh, your dog license your i don't know just it, it's right it's not going to die out it's just going to get more and more well, again which which one of these does is the better one to use for that i'm just i'm not saying or do we do it or not i'm saying which one do we do well i feel futuristic wise civic plus has tons of add-on features like wow. we could eventually move our permits online if we need to. Oh, wow. yeah, um, yeah. There's the sense. meeting. There's an, a meeting and agendas uh, software that they have. Um, you know, all of this with an added cost, but. Um, right. But moving forward in the future, like you said, Civic Plus would be the better option, you think? I I would like to think so, but you know, I've often right. been never know. Course, so well, right. And you never know, right? Revise might do the same thing eventually, right. but and then you <laughs> always like look into like you say the additional features, but what are we paying for other subscriptions somewhere else that we could get rid of and include in the website? I'm sure we pay other fee somewhere else.
Did you say you asked Justin some questions and still get some answers again? Yeah. Are you gonna Are you gonna hate me if I make a request and say that I'd like you to check it out more and have a real hard preference for next month and we'll vote on whatever one you want? Yeah. It, it doesn't matter to me. My, my and I'm not, I'm not the whole board, but you're the one that's got to run it. I I would I'm, I'm comfortable spending the ARPA money on whatever you're comfortable running. So, but yeah. that's yeah. I'm with you, Matt. Whichever yeah. they choose is fine. <laughs> Just come back. I mean, and have we, yeah. yeah, and have we asked Kim and I mean, did Kim and does Kim Kim must do a lot of posting on here too, or no? And yeah, Kim, Krista, Brent Krista as well. Too? Yeah, Brent. Yeah, yeah. so we maybe collaborate. I don't know. And yeah, so you guys come up and tell us next month which one you want, and we'll do it. Okay. With a hard number that we can go to, we can approve the opera funds. Yeah, I agree. Right, we know exactly because again, you see, there are whole you can do a whole bunch of add-ons, but figure out which ones are important to start with. You all right with that, Jen? Yeah, that's fine by me. It says it's going to take approximately four months, could be more, to uh, switch over to a full transition. Okay. Okay. We'll put that off. All right. Um, the finance and administrative. <laughs> manager position assumed you want to wait and talk about that in executive session okay um, not too far behind um, grants grants going to update us of course there's several and that's understatement of the uh, mitigation process that we're going through. Of course, uh, myself, Jen, uh, FEMA, uh, Ron, and Watershed Consulting. Uh, a lot of these were temporary fixes, and we had to verify that with Watershed Consulting. So they are the majority of them. We're getting them engineered and getting back with FEMA on a permanent fix. So we should have a meeting here in the next couple of weeks with FEMA, and then we'll see how we're moving forward with that. Uh, if you noticed in Jen's uh, report to you, uh, we worked on receiving a drawdown funds from the FEMA incident that happened back in October of 19. And that's nice to see that back in our council to start recouping some of the funds uh, that we had to use on, on these repairs. Uh, Funding for the Garfield Brook Road storm damage, not not the culvert section, but the actual storm uh, landslide. Uh, I transitioned from FEMA to the USDA because it's 100%. Uh, it'll be paid for 100% compared to the 75% that FEMA was going to do that for us. So that will help us a little bit further down the road. Uh, with the the knotweed in, uh, situation, Mark, myself, met with Miss Walsh and uh, I forgot the other gentleman's name, um, John Tilton and Mike Buchanan with Morrisville Water and Light. And then uh, Marcus Bradley, he's from the Restart Consulting. He's also the licensed applicator uh, to go see how we can move forward with trying to work that area around Garfield uh, to try to push back some of that not weed issue there that has uh, been a persistent issue in that area. Uh, myself and Ms. Waltz uh, tomorrow morning have a talk about some uh, part-time help that is going to be coming out of the not weed committee to start working manually work over the summer to help uh, keep that growth back this summer as well. <clears throat> Let's see. 
and I've assigned everything for her on that application uh, for that watershed grant that they were pre-approved for. So that's in the process as well. Uh, since the select board and North Tribe Park Committee voted not to move forward with the wastewater feasib feasibility study, I finally received all the invoicing uh, that LCPC and uh, Du Bois and King uh, spent their time on that project. I have been assured uh, from NRD that they will uh, reimburse us for that money. So the money that we spent on that thus far until until y'all stop it, we won't get recouped for that, which is a little over $17,000, which would be nice to get back as well. Uh, just future-wise, I'm looking at local government leadership for economic mobility and opportunity. Uh, Certain uh, municipalities and local governments uh, can receive up to $20,000 for the implementation of economic mobility assessments, planning, or engagement processes, and just to help try to figure out ways to stimulate the economy and uh, areas that are rural like us. And then looking at uh, Vermont and other quality of the OI. Uh, the Vermont Outdoor Recreation Economic Collaborative. It's a community grant program. Uh, they come out with phases, so I'm looking at seeing when the next phase is to try to throw our name in the hat and see what I need to do to move the process for a better quality of life for our residents here in Highland Park. And I, I mean, I got a lot more, but I will be sending out an updated uh, list to y'all uh, this coming Friday. Thank you for doing that, Brent. Um, just so you guys know, I asked because I know we've always kind of talked about how we didn't really know what was out there for grants. And we're always voting on things at meetings about a grant that we talked about, you know, two years ago and we always forget. So so I asked Brent to to start updating us and keep a list going just so we're kind of on top of it a little more than than I felt like I always felt kind of lost on all the grants that were floating out there. So well, thank you. Uh, for doing we, that. we do have a lot of irons in the fire, but it's just being specific. Some were put on the back burners, some were put on right. the front burners. So yes. me and Jen are working extremely hard on trying to let's get some closed and move on forward to the next ones, but make sure that all of them are being addressed. So. Great. Thank you very much. See. <clears throat> I think sorry as as we kind of move into the town warrants, I was thinking maybe if everybody with Jen's memo, if we look at the things that she's asked us to do to get those done. Um one of them is the uh is for the uh the uh a FEMA flood buyout that's been and those things they go on forever. But um <clears throat> we got a uh, two hundred and thirty-eight thousand six hundred and thirty thousand dollar flood buyout from FEMA for the acquisition and demolition um of, of a, a building and an area and Do yeah. Two yeah. properties in North High Park. Yeah, in North High yeah. Park. Um, so our, and this is one of the 90-10 from FEMA's. So the town needs to do 10% or $23,863. And um, a taking that, uh, Jen's recommendation is a good place, taking out of the stormwater capital reserve. That's sort of what that money's there for. <laughs> to cover this sort of thing. And I handed out the documentation for their finance, FEMA's finance department to just let them know that we're continuing that green light to move forward with this ballot for them too. So our end is already, it's just getting master approval from y'all to move forward when it comes time that we have the approval with that percentage of ours. Right. So need a motion to do our pounds <clears throat> match from the stormwater capital reserve. Okay, just because I wasn't here, but yep. what's the plan with those two properties? They're being purchased and demolished. Okay. For green space. Yeah, okay. for green space, right. 
right that makes sense nicole they're 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 what they call brown 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 areas so they're contaminated say yeah that makes sense i just didn't know i was like right right yeah makes total sense i mean the opportunities there to well to get the money and and lots of these projects again you'll find working with fema yeah you know, it's stuff that you can be talking about three years ago. Yeah. But you're finally getting around to. Yeah, so. it makes sense. I just didn't know if there was like a well, plan. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It'll definitely look nicer. And okay. So, so again, yeah. my, my, my only concern with that is if FEMA gives us the money and we become the owners of that. Yes. But we can't, it has to stay as a green space. We can't yeah. put anything on that property or resell it, it has to be utilized as a green space. Therefore, a park, a little small rec area, the only thing is, is if the event, say we put playground equipment and a bad storm comes in and damages, we cannot ask FEMA for money again on that space. We would have to eat, eat that one. Yep. Okay. But I was, I was thinking, like, there, it comes with the reclamation, right? There. Are you talking about tearing it down and creating green? Yeah, it's included. It's included the uh, the <laughs> demolition and everything is included in that price too. Man. Okay. Yep, that was my question. Yes, sir. Sorry. Gotcha. Okay. I'll make the motion to take the twenty three thousand eight hundred sixty three out of the storm water capital reserve. Okay. I'll second that. Okay. You guys got it. We're taking it out of the stormwater capital reserve. All in yep. favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Um, uh, then Jen, further down with the uh, with the audit. One and two audit, right. <laughs> Thank you for asking, and now you know, right. Sure. Um, and, and, uh, Jen wants to, uh, to obligate $5,000 of ARPA funds for the single audit for 24. Yeah, I'm reading ahead. Okay. What would we like to do with the audit? We have to do an audit, right? <laughs> yeah. So it's mandatory. It's recommended using five thousand. It's mandatory. Right. So I'll it's... make to approve the five thousand dollars out of the ARPA funds for Jen's the audit. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Flipping between two hundred pieces of paper here. Okay. Um, um, excuse me. All right. The um, Matt, the Recreation Committee, the ARPA funds. So, so uh, basically, we. The recreation, if you guys remember, we went, it was whatever, two years ago now when, when we first got the ARPA funds, the rec committee asked to redo the ballpark up there, the the playground. Yep. We did successfully put in a new swing set and a new like slide, but still half of the playground is empty and it, it's not including in the mode space. So what happens is it grows up and then six times a year I go up and weed whack. So we talked about what we could do with that space and... <clears throat> finding out that we still had a $7,000 of the 25,000 that was approved by the select board in the past. We said, why don't we pave that half of the area and make a basketball court up there for inside the playground area or a multi-purpose area that could be used as a pickleball court or pop scotch or whatever else it would be. So the rec committee, sorry, my dog is playing with his stuffy. <laughs> 
the rec committee would like to be able to spend the remaining, I think it was $5,900 and Slayton paving gave us a quote of 4,200 for paving. And then a basketball hoop, hoop would cost about 1700. So we would like to spend the balance inside the playground area of up to 25,000. Absolutely. I think so. Sure. I guess just be the motion. I make that motion to approve Slayton. Um, well, yeah, for, the, for, for them to spend up to oh, okay. what What do you have left, Matt? I think it was 5900 And if, if it goes over, we, we agreed that we would come up with whatever extra money. So I think it was in Jen's last finance month. 5963 <laughs> Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. <clears throat> a motion to approve the 59.63 for them to spend out in the rec. Right. If we say it's a pickleball court, they will be, you know, <laughs> you won't have any We'll all be up there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's what it's recreation. Whatever people anything yeah. to get outside, right? So right. Pickleball's right. a huge thing right now. It's a great idea. Yes. The area that we have available is, I think it was 50 by 35 that they quoted to be paved. And that's what was, that was inside the, the, the fencing. So. Fencing, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So. okay. So we've got a motion to have the recreation committee spend their 59.82, their remaining money um, on, uh, on paving and, Continuing to upgrade the recreation area. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Oh, yeah, I second that. Uh, of course, that's right. It's, it's, it's automatic now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what happens when there are only three of us in the room. Okay. Right. Anybody, anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. I think I have to abstain. Yeah, today. Matt abstains, right. Okay. Let me see. All right, we did the audit. We did the buyout. <clears throat> I think there's a couple more motions that Jen needed. Yeah, Susan, on. Yeah, that's right. We just sort of okay working our way down to the uh, okay. As again, just sort of as we're talking about about ARPA funds, that's how I was kind of looking. Oh, at gotcha. It. There are only one. <laughs> the um. I think the the important ARPA discussion here is uh, is with the capital planning for the highway equipment. And um, do we want to? Well, let's see. First of all, how much now is left of ARPA funds, Jen? Thanks. Let me look on the website. I'm at my computer. Hang on. I have a spreadsheet too. I got it upstairs. So I'm going to go get it. I have to have it. Well, it shows it before. If we do or if we don't, it's yeah. right Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Brief, brief pause while Brent did a spreadsheet that's upstairs. So he's going to get it. <clears throat> It's a candy break. So like a rough estimate without the motions that you just made tonight. Yeah. Is over $440,000 left to obligate. Okay. Uh, and, you know, I proposed a couple last month. Um, that included the $200 or the $200,000 um, towards the international truck uh and even after the possible votes of obligation there was over two hundred and twenty four thousand left so yeah okay <clears throat> right so we'll sort of again brent's bringing down his sort of with some choices we can make here yeah i met with i met with him and and mark <clears throat> right talked about how we don't have enough money for all the equipment that um needs to be purchased very soon so well then we've got fire trucks coming our way too right yeah uh -oh. <laughs> even more mm -hmm. study this would be a 
Fire I thought we didn't we just get a fire truck? No? It's on order. Oh, that's Northside Park. Northside Park. Right. The Hyde Park yeah. one's on order, isn't it? I, 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 just, I thought we had a right. bond for Hyde Park one last right. year. Right. Okay. So I'm not making that up. I think we're good on fire trucks for a while, aren't we? I'm, I'm yeah, thinking she's is, talking about a load or a grader. No, no, this this is a grader. I'm I'm on the fire department. I, I, I again it sounds like it's a long way out, but it's maybe another three or four years. Oh, and it's, right. yeah. it's said at one of our meetings, we need to yeah. talk about one in like two years or three years. Two, yeah. Okay. I thought you met this year. I was like, no, Whoa. okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No, but, but again, that's what this looking at that, you know, the money we've got to come up with thinking in the next few years for a greater and that sort of thing. Ooh, thank you. Oh, yeah. thank you. Uh, this shows if we do our bottom line, Okay. It would keep us good up until 28, but if we don't, we'll be insufficient by next year. That makes it pretty. Oh, I, I've always thought that was a good thing to do with the right. Um, the rent is it's just this again. Um, Jan says in her memo, forget the greater. Yeah, I know. I know. You look at that spreadsheet and go, "Ooh." Uh. Um, she updated it. That is the one we were working off of, and me mm -hmm. and Mark were having this discussion. How much do we have in offer funds unobligated prior to this meeting? Make it easy. Four forty, four hundred forty thousand. <clears throat> oh, I did have to. <laughs> the zeros can get us all confused. Um, let's see. Does anybody think it's not a good idea to invest two hundred thousand of the ARPA dollars for the towards the international? It, and again, seeing the spreadsheet here, if we do that, it leaves. Um, it puts the capital reserve fund in um, well in in much. Better shape. Does it have? Is the greater in here? Yes. Okay. That's with us taking out a loan with estimated payments of eighty thousand a year for five years, and I'm not sure that we have voter approval to even go for that. No one at rates right now. If one can avoid borrowing money right now, I think it's probably a good plan. <clears throat> okay. So there's eighty thousand per year with if auto funds were used. Yep. Yes. No. <laughs> um, and and again, I don't know that we have approval to go out and borrow money. So, um, Matt, where are you with this? Sorry, um, I, I'm all about it. I mean, yeah. we've got to allocate money at some point here. And I, I I feel like I trust Jen's financials way beyond my education of it. It's, so. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a, a good a good use of the ARPA money. So what we will make a motion to obligate the 200,000 of ARPA money towards the 2025 international. Well, I'll second that. <laughs> I'm still reading this. Okay. Okay, you good? Ready to go? Yeah. Okay, got a we got a, a motion. Need a second for the approving the ARPA funds. Two hundred thousand. Oh, you did. Okay. 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 All in favor of the motion, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Brent, at our next meeting, and between you and Jen, can we just have that 
as part of our next meeting minutes, just like a balance sheet like you guys have been doing. And just that way, I think we're getting towards the end to having to allocate this anyway. So. Of the ARPA money? Yeah. Yes, sir. Well, and, and we have with the ARPA money, there's the, just brought up again, the, the, uh, the request from the Moyle, the Lamoille County players um, to help cover the cost of the, um, of repairing their roof. And I know, I actually talked to you, the village has given them. Yeah, they've already, the village uh, back on, if, and, I, and I copied their minutes for y'all's uh, review was November 2nd, they will award is 7,500 uh, in the total uh, cost, which is half. And uh, she came to me and, and I was thinking it would be an excellent opportunity to show unity, not only with the village and us, but for the community uh, to match what the village has put into it, which would be $7,500. And she had, she provided everything that I gave them. It's uh, just that the village owns the opera house and they lease it to the Lamoille County players for a dollar a year. Mm -hmm. uh, and this, and then basically the Lamoille County players raise the money and do all the upgrades and, and do all that. Uh, the village doesn't generally help. <clears throat> so it's certainly... <laughs> The opera house certainly is a is an asset. It certainly brings people into the you know yeah, in, I mean, in, into the village. I mean, they're they're terrific. And these I remember as you know, young kid. I worked at Corset Cafe. You know, weekends of the play. The boy. Oh, I mean, still even now that you know when they have a play going on there, the town is packed. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After I yeah, now we have now we have two sons. They benefit from it, and everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of the few things in the village left now, you know, not a whole lot in there these days. Well, and we know just so, and, and there's conversation because the church has a slate roof and has asked for money to help pay for the, for taking care of that as well. And again, that's a, uh, there that it's, we, you know, we got into, well, it's a church. Do you do, yes, ARPA money has absolutely communities have given money to churches because a lot of times churches, you know, they act as meeting places. Um, I just, you know, really careful because I'm a member of that church, but I know, you know, the groups that use it regularly. Um, actually, now the library is does, is doing some of their summer programs there because they're really, again, in town, there isn't that much. If you sort of get out of this room, there isn't that much meeting space, you know, in yeah. town. And when the when the village moves their offices, They'll have their offices in the village that I think is great, you know, but there isn't any meeting space in that building. So there's real, and the, the library has their meeting space upstairs and downstairs. And, and, um, and people were using the parish hall for a while, and now that's right, the daycare. Right. Now that's the daycare, which is actually a great use for that. <laughs> glad, to, glad to see that there. So, but anyway, just, just remember and, and not taking up that request, but here's the, you know, I, I'm, I'm supportive of, again, I think ARPA funds give, give a community an opportunity to spend money in some ways that you wouldn't necessarily ask tax dollars to raise taxes to spend, you know, and, and improvements in your community, which again, being, helping to buy a big piece of equipment definitely helps because we're not having to ask taxpayers to borrow money now to buy a piece of equipment, you know, to keep the buildings that are used by people in shape. You know, we've done some of the little, you know, the little things we've done, but, you know, like with the cemeteries and helping them upgrade and do that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's an opportunity to do that. that makes the whole community better that everybody benefits from and, and not asking people to, to pay more on their taxes. 
Do we know how much the village has allocated out of their expenses? Yeah, same as seven hundred, seven thousand, seventy-five hundred. I know, I was out of their total fund. I just not think how much they have actually. If they've allocated all their funds or extended their funds out for what they where they are at. Oh, for the village for all their ARPA funds. Yeah. I I don't know. Oh, does Brett, you know, you know what you want. Okay, he's just checking to see if we know. I, I, I know, um, I know the village has done the same thing with the church. They've given half of what they requested. I know I just have what they, who and what they awarded to uh, pertain to what the village board of trustees did. So I don't have a total amount. They didn't break it down here in their uh, meeting. Uh, oh, how, do you know how much they allocated as a total? No, we have more requests than we have money. Are you talking about total what they allocated out? Yeah, what did the village have to allocate? For some reason, I could be totally off. I'm thinking one hundred sixty thousand dollars is what the village had. That was one hundred something. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> five forty five sixteen seventy five hundred and five thousand. Yeah. I don't know if they would so far. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So what, what would we like to do with the with the playhouse? <laughs> it's okay to spend money. <laughs> I need to give it to him. Yeah. I, I mean I, I think it's definitely an important piece of our community. Yeah. Yeah. It is. I mean, I really. I agree. I just, I just want, I want, I want to do it in a, in an efforts. Our village does not work with our in the past, and I think that. Yeah, but we're changing that. That's, that's what we're working on. That needs to happen, right? So I yep. just, I, I, I don't have a they great. Want, feeling, you know, they, they want they, it to happen they, too. They want yes. it to happen too. Yeah. Well, I hope so. I, I because obviously they have. I mean, uh, as long as they have their money allocated, it's one thing. But I, I just, it's it, they own the building and they have one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and just I, I it's just a, one of them things. Like right now, we're we're still being very patient with office space for them, and we're paying a very high water bill, and all those things that are happening right now currently. So it's just it's... my only re concern is is we have more requests than we have money. Mm -hmm. so at some point we're going to make somebody mad by saying no yep and so where do we decide that's, that's my only there is no magic wand to say who are we going to say no to but i don't know that this is appropriate not to say no to i'm not saying that i'm just saying they were in our original list weren't they weren't they on there they yeah. came for the roof yeah. right yeah, no, they've they've been for some time. I would I I think it's a, I think it's a good investment of the, <clears throat> you know, for the for the town to help support that program and that building. Well, and they offer they also offer like groups for like school age kids, like their theater camps for the school age kids in the summer. Oh yeah, and they yeah. they offer you know lots of different stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, they so, do lots of good things. <clears throat> All right, I will make the motion that we approve using $7,500 to help the opera, Logan Mall County players repair towards their roof repairs. Towards their roof repairs, right. I'll second this. Okay. Any would, more discussion? Would we pay that directly? I'm sorry. I just have a question. Would we pay that directly to the rod roofing or would we pay that to 
Lamoille County players. It would go to Lamoille County players. <laughs> okay. For the reimbursement. Yeah. And they've right, and you see they've got their uh they've got the necessary quotes and things. Yes. For, yeah. And they all provided that <clears throat> test for right. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. I was just gonna ask that because isn't there's a process for that, right? Yeah. And we wanna Yes. No, and all our, okay. they, they covered their basis when okay. I asked. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. And and they and they liked you a lot. That's <laughs> how they said it was very helpful. Okay. All in favor of approving the seventy five hundred dollars of ARPA funds for the Lamoille County players to help cover the cost of uh repairing their slate roof, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna throw out there that the village and the town planning commission will be meeting together to work on the municipal plan starting in May. Okay. And we'll be working together monthly. <clears throat> okay, excellent. And okay. me and their executive director will be attending those meetings as well. Great. Okay, let's see. You've got a stack of town warrants down there. Anybody have, anybody have any questions about them? If not, a motion to approve. I'll make that motion. Approve the warrants. <laughs> yep. Second. Oh, I second that. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> you got to you got to give her a little, you know, nudge your chair down there. I forgot. I was, okay. That all in favor, my... signify by saying aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. The updated personnel policy. Yep. So that's on here because at the. February 27th meeting, there were a few notes that were made. The update personnel policy was approved, but then there were notes regarding um, 300 ETO hours um, editing it. So the policy states select board chair versus the name. Um, the COVID policy was referenced um and sick leave policy so jen and chastity were going to work on that so i'm just putting it out there i have not gone any further with the sick leave policy uh there was mention too of looking into the flex time uh, I've never contacted the attorneys before, so I had asked Brent for the information, and it turns out he didn't have the information either. So um, I can follow up with that for next meeting, and I apologize it's not done yet. No worries. <laughs> so we're on the same page and moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, we knew it was going to be a work in progress. <laughs> Okay. Close to time. Um, select board members' goals. Continued discussion. So I'll that conversation a little bit. I called Nicole earlier. We have had the discussion of how to be involved. And I said, well, newsletter would be great to have some assistance on. Reach out to different places, people get input. So that that's the start of the discussion. I don't know if any other SECWA members have goals that they really want to get done in the year. The conversation was kind of cut short at the last meeting and Chastity also mentioned she'd like to discuss it some more too. Dog kennels get finished this year. Yeah. <laughs> that's my goal. What'd she say? What'd Dog you say? Let's get finished. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's more, um, you know, the capital planning, um, the paving, it's more of those bigger, bigger things that I'm, that I think we 
tend to not discuss like we should. Um, and basically, because we we tend to run out of time, right? Um, by the end of the meeting, so um, so I'm just thinking if you guys can start thinking about some of those things. And Jen, can we maybe I should have mentioned this to you earlier. Um, sorry, there's a big beautiful bird on my lawn here in Florida. <laughs> it's distracting me. <laughs> um, getting us um maybe a updated capital planning look like outlook for the next you know five six years um you know mentioning the fire truck you know in a couple of years and we have the greater it's just like i feel like we need to start really really starting to talk about that stuff and figure out what we're going to do um in the future um and plan a little better for that kind of stuff um and obviously paving um, <laughs> with thorn in our, in our side that I think we need to start thinking about. Um, and then, I don't know, do you guys have anything else? Like, what are you guys thinking? Um, uh, I'd like to like finish the, our, we keep talking about it that we need to wrap up our phone and mm -hmm. so allocate it, but I think we really just need to do it. You know, we, yeah, we know we have all these requests and let's just, finish it it's kind of nice to have money sitting there when we have something come up that we need we, we haven't finished it this year we don't I, have I know when we right. talking about it but we had that spreadsheet of yeah things that wanted and let's just so jen do you, do you because we allocated a lot of money tonight jen do you think for the meeting in may you could have a really great updated sheet for us and then maybe we can mm -hmm. have that on the agenda for may to really kind of dive deep into that, have that as an agenda item for May? Yeah. I can do that. I think okay. the important thing to realize, though, is that we can use yeah. some of these funds to compensate for our overspending in our budget this year. This is the last okay. time that we do that. So, I, uh, yeah. You know, there's at least $50,000 expenditure. So, um, that, so do you that think, needs to be buttoned up towards the end of Okay, with you saying that, do you think it would be better if we planned that for our June meeting instead? So even, we have those numbers or $200,000, say let's just say we have $200,000 left, we keep like, I don't know, I'm throwing a number out there, 40000 yeah. for expenditures or something like that. Sure. And allocate the rest or... Maybe I'm totally off, Jen. You know the number better, but something yeah. like that. Well, I can give you an update um, based off tonight's discussion for next okay. time, for sure. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, we know that and some amount of the website's going to come out of there. Oh, yeah, the website. Uh, I just don't know what's thought going. about, do we want to set like a Deadline for communities or organizations, whatever, to submit requests. No, we we no, we already have too many. We don't want to go right. for requests. Yeah, I think, <laughs> no. I think we're I think we're set with that. Yeah. <laughs> um, I I want to intern. I want to see, and again, I got Jen got me the information, and we can talk about it next month. But the big art project that you, down on the rail trail. Yeah. And we've got between the, the money that I raised and the matching money grants that went down there, there's about, I'll just do the round, there's about $15,000 left that is that has to be spent on that sort of thing. And some of it that we we're gonna spend on other grant money came in to take care of it. So we still have this money. And I have some, what what I wanna see happen and it, it, it won't get finished this year. But of course, you know, we're working with VTrans and they've come in and they've approved and we're moving and they're doing a whole um, building down there and, and everything. So it's really, so I, I want to see that continue and really be the integrated piece that it, that it is down there. Again, it's sort of like, because the whole, the whole reason we got into doing <laughs> it was, was the better communities grant that we got one of their recommendations was we should do something that would attract people to Hyde Park 
And that's when we came up with the idea of doing, you know, some neat art down on the rail trail that would be something that people using the rail trail could see. But that's got such a good parking area that it would be something people would come and see and encouraging them to come to Hyde Park just for fun. So I want to I want to follow through on that this year. And it's and again, the plans are there and it's moving forward, but but kind of get that nicely wrapped up. Do we, Mark, are, Mark French, are you on this call still? Yeah, he's there. Oh. Yep. Mark, do you have like a dream list of paving? Um, like a dream, like a I have schedule. a dream list. Yes, like but some of it were, uh, Stur so Sterling View is dire, dire need, but we're waiting for a stormwater project to get done up there, which they're working on. Okay. So we don't want to pay that. They're going to dig it up. We have a section of battle roll that's coming up that's going to be needed to be done, the further section, down to Barnes Road. Uh, John Street Extension, the village is terrible. John Street Extension is terrible. We're waiting for a sinkhole project. So we've got some things that are getting to the point where we're going to have to do something okay. because they're getting impossible to plow. And it's constant filling in with coal patch every time it rains or whatever. So I would say Centerville is top of my list and that little section of Hyde Park Road is just, just up to Benson Road from I call the Bordeaux Farm, but from Centerville mm -hmm. up through. That was hopefully our hit list this year. I was really hoping that Sterling View would get their stormwater thing done so we could attack that next year. But we might have to move to Battle Row first if they don't do that. But the John Street extension is like way past due. So, okay. but that one we're waiting for the sinkhole project. Okay. Well, and Matt, Sterling, Sterling Sterling View's got to come up with a source of funding to do that work, don't they? Well, I believe so. I think they're working on grants. Last I, I thought I think, I think didn't the town sign off on something for a grant for them, or if I remember correctly. To me, I think I have to look, but I think it's okay. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, they, they don't even have the money yet for the project. So. Right. But that one, you know, you're, there's one spot up here we've lost about half the road already. It's just very bad shape. But some of them are just kind of like on hold because of why do we want to pay for to dig it all up the next year? Right. Yep. Yeah, that's sure. right. You know, so, same thing with the sinkhole. You know, I was hoping the sinkhole project would be done by now. But we're still in limbo on that one right now so forgive me if this is already done and i'm not yeah. do we have do we have like a plan like a written plan schedule for paving for things or do we just kind of no we kind of go off kind of wing it on which is the worst roads okay and like like i said looking at battle roll i know that one's like next on the hit list because it's okay. at that point yeah, a lot of time it is the labor we spend. Fires like co patching tells you, hey, you know, we got to do something uh, with it. We gotta, we're out okay. here every other day on the rains. You're, we got the expenditure of the co patch, so okay. that sometimes will jump something ahead as well. Okay. Matt, what do you have for priorities? Stay alive. His wreck field. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at my, as far as select board, I think I expressed them last time, you know, just, just being more proactive rather than reactive. I, I hate yeah. being thrown against the wall and having to make a decision like, what are we doing right now? You know, so I don't know yeah. if Josh kind of touched base on, you know, the paving succession plan. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get what Mark says, you know, it, who knows where we're going to be at three months from now, but. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of how I feel too, Matt. And that's why I was like looking at capital planning, looking at paving, kind of looking ahead a little more, you know, I, sometimes it is hard to do all the time for everything, but you know, I've maybe only that could... three years mm -hmm. and I can, we're like light years ahead of where we were when I first started. I mean, I was really confused. Now I'm just half confused. <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> maybe we can move you to a quarter. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's a good select board goal for the year. <laughs> yeah. Make Matt understand a little more. <laughs> I'm with Matt. <laughs> um, but sort of ties into this. The, the, the next is, the, you know, the select board member structure and responsibilities. Yeah, exactly. Yep. yep. Um, which we pretty much touched on that last month, um, you know, as far as doing away with you know, liaisons a little bit um, and having, you know, people go to Brent. Um, have people been doing that or do you, I mean, no one's really come our, I don't know if other members of the select board have had um, yeah. issues, but, you know, I still want everyone to know that the select board obviously is still here. Um, <laughs> I didn't, I don't know if I made that very clear at the last meeting. So I want to make sure that, um, we're obviously here for the taxpayers, um, but just trying to streamline things a little bit better. Um, does anyone have any input on that part of things or thought about it anymore over the past couple of weeks? <laughs> Must be not. <laughs> Is it working well, Brent? Have you had any issues or any obstacles etc or do it's you think it's going to be okay a very minimal increase in discussion um they're still the same i i don't hear anything until mm -hmm. after the fact unless jan or mark call me or one of y'all have a question or something like that i try to answer as quick as possible but mm -hmm. from any outside from the committees nor uh citizens or anything like that very minimal um, well, that's when, a good thing. <laughs> when Beth requested the money, asked she asked me about the ARPA funds for the um, players. And I, oh, okay. I said to reach out to Brad. I just. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. We're just diverting people. Anybody that reaches out just goes. Yeah. Well, and that's going to happen. You know, we have a new structure and we have a new town administrator. So not everyone necessarily knows where to go. So I think that'll still happen. That's okay. And one of the other things that from a select board, I think I've said it a few times, it's just like the what's happening in the town. And I feel like the DRB board knows more about, I mean, they that's what they do, right? But we still have never connected with them. Yeah, like, right. Yeah, you're sure. right. Yeah. And, and, and the, the website, again, I, I I don't know, you know, like a bunch of people, you know, the around the town stuff and that I, I think people think that the select board is is the DRB board or when, when something yeah. gets approved in the town, they think we're the ones that approved it when we have this whole other entity and Yeah. Uh, just some of that yes. like responsibility of town people, like it's all on the minutes. I mean I didn't realize until I started here that every you know, there's so many groups that I get it. Yeah. What you're saying that is everybody thinks the select board is in charge of everything and every group, but the minutes are out there if people look for them. Or yeah. <clears throat> well, I think that that's where a, a better updated website will help because when people yeah. go to it, um, and it's friendlier, you know, it's more user friendly, so that when you, you know, and ultimately is, is again the fellow that was here tonight is there, you know, is there a paving plan or is there. You know, and and again with an updated website, you can you can sort of list. You know, here's here's the planning commission, here's the DRB, here's what they do. You know, and and uh, at least have that in an easily accessible place, whether people read it or not is a different issue. But mm -hmm. to to we can do a better job. And again, that gets to the Brent. You know, the the transparency is the more you put the information out there for them. That's all we can do, put it out there and give them opportunities to, to, to read it. Yeah. And I think we've done better for sure, but you're right. It is still, I'd kind of forgotten about the, that part of it, Matt. So, okay, cool. Okay. We can move along. We're behind schedule. Okay. So we'll okay. move along. Uh, training <laughs> updates. May 14th in Milton, there's a select board essentials. It's available in person or on a webinar. 
And in what date was that? Sorry, Justin, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, Tuesday, May 14th, from Okay. 5 30 to 8 p.m. And the link in the calendar for the training is in the staff packet. Okay, the minutes. Um, the minutes had help, like the attendance is messed up on the top line. Yes, I do. Yeah. Be get rid of Roland and add Savannah and Nicole. Yep. Yeah. And Susan was the only one who was remote. You were also in person. Correct. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Other, um, I'll prove it with that change. Sounds like a motion to me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll second that. Okay. All in favor of approving the March 26 minutes as corrected. Signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Now, a discussion about the format. How much information needs to be in there? <laughs> Exactly. Um, yeah, I'm usually, in my opinion, and from the feedback I've heard, pretty thorough. I've also reflected on when I was on paternity leave in January, the minutes that Ron did were very short and to the point, but they do meet statute. So if you want me to spend more time on something else rather than minutes, or if you like having the thorough minutes, uh, put it out there. Let's select board to decide. Oh, right, because we talked about this last month, but we were waiting for Matt, right? Because not everybody was here. Is that why we didn't talk about it more? Well, I my memory. This. No, I forgot. I thought that at the end of the meeting, I was like, there's something else, but I don't remember. That's it's right. Yeah. Okay. That's what it was. I think, like, not short and sweet, but, you know, everything that we can get in there, but. Do we need every detail? It's recorded. Like using the pre using the minutes that have been submitted by me over the past year or so. Okay. Like them more or less, basically. I really like them. I think they're good. Do we need do you to spend that much time on them? Is what I guess ultimately the question is. Yeah, I agree. You do a lot of stuff. I think maybe less is more. Less is more. Well, but then yeah, I agree. Like, how, how much less? Not yeah. It's yeah. Like, there's there's your where's you know, that fine you know, line? The where's that fine line? Um, like the select board discussed the X. Um, these are common points to be discussed up next meeting. This action item. It could be that, or if you like the back and forth. I don't, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's not, if somebody really wants a back and forth, they can go and, you know, you can look at all the, you know, you can watch all of them. And I'd say it could be more, um, well, in the multiple conversations we've had about the whole dog kennel issue, you know, um, that it's sort of, and, and, and and maybe the first time something comes up, you want to put a little more detail in it. But as you know, as many of these complex topics are, it's going to go on and on and on and on. That if you get in a fair amount of detail the first time, so anybody looking can see, oh yeah, here's what it's about. But then when we have a conversation, just say there was continued conversation on the pros and cons of doing an interlocal agreement with the dog camp. And right. Yeah. And maybe bullet points, you know, Justin, instead of details, right? You know, just do a couple, you know, when we're having a big conversation, right? 
you know, have some important bullet points. And then if people want to see further information on those bullet points, they can walk. Yeah, right? they, can, they can get it. They can, yeah. yeah. And I like the whole more, con you know, a conversation was had regarding, you know, that's, that's a good idea, Susan. I like that. So they, yeah. they know we talked about it and if they want more information. Right. I mean, I don't know, Jen, this might be a good question for you because I know you refer to the minutes a lot for a lot of the finance stuff. So would you prefer to keep the finance information kind of detailed so that to make sure you have that information at your fingertips in the in the minutes versus having to watch a video? Yeah, I think details when it comes to finance is helpful. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Is that helpful, Justin? Or it is. Thank you. Okay. I'll okay. Apply for the these minutes and see you again tonight. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> old, new, and upcoming business. Old minutes. I had a question yep. on Jen, uh, Jen's oh, yep, finance yep. thing. At the end, she talks about a payroll provider. And I just didn't know. She said, does she need additional quotes? Do we need to make a decision on that? Um, my two cents is we use ADP at work and it's pretty easy and uh, it's so easy to maneuver around and I right. like it. And Yeah, we use ADP too. So you should be using it for the ADP, like the payroll portion? Yes, that would be for a payroll provider. So I just have a question. So it says that there's an increased cost of $20 per payroll. So because they charge for the checks, we have like, they can't just, you can't just print the checks and- We have to, yeah, we have two people that have printed the checks. Yeah, One we is just- um, We've had it happen before. Get and chose to just switch over. Yeah, we've had people that like for some reason like their direct deposit like new something, <laughs> and their direct deposit hasn't gone through. And once our account gets the amount or whatever, he just sends it like he just sends it over, and we print the check and just sign it. Because all their like their pay stub information is in ADP, and they can see it. So like all the stuff is done. But like they don't charge us for a check. So I'm just confused by that. Because like, yeah. They're thing. charging for the delivery fee of the checks to the town office. Yeah. So but it's like, the courier service of them printing the checks. Huh. Right. But you're saying you write your own check. Because they're well, writing our check. ADP is writing our check. And we yeah. get to us. We can't write our own check. I don't know. No. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if that's an option for them, like to ongoing for me to print the check for the two people that I could ask them. Because that's what we do. Like we we would just we just print them and we just sign them. Our person that signs them just signs them and print and just they don't have a, they don't get nothing for the occasional people that yeah occasionally that's happened this will be every other week though. yeah this that's what i mean occasional one. is it like ongoing though no but i'm just saying like i don't like i don't know why it'd be any different like it would just i don't know i, I would just ask them it just seems like i mean not that 20 dollars is like that much but yeah adp is i love adp and you don't need to like i had somebody that her w2s got lost because she put they put the wrong address in and she didn't get them and i'm like oh you just print them off like I had my taxes, like I had mine before anybody, they had no idea you could just print them out. Like it's so much easier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree, it's great. As we circled back to the um, finance, I know there's a request for motion regarding the vendors. Yeah, yeah. right, what, let's put, we get, what do we need to do with ADP though? Well, she's asking if we want, if we want other quotes or if just switching to ADP with an increase of $20 per payroll is, Any reason to look at other quotes? I, I don't think so. And I don't think there's really a lot of other ones either that are 
a lot of people. And what she wrote here about having to open, t- you know, cases with them, and yeah. you've spent more of that in your salary probably chasing them around. Yeah, ADP is very responsive. Exactly. Yeah. So, the only one other one I know is Paylocity, but so oh, I don't like. That's the only one I've, I've ever yeah. heard of. Yeah, we use them at my last job, and we ended up switching to ADP. Yeah, I never, used, I never used them either. That's who that's who Jared used to have, but I I like yeah. ADP. Okay, so I'm on a motion to have her. Can I make a motion to yeah. switch to ADP? I'll second that. Okay, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. And then the other, as you were. Um, she's asked us to approve the uh, the uh, the vendor list. Jen wants us to approve the vendor list. No, I looked at that. Oh, I saw a couple things. Yeah, I looked at it. Um, NATO's is out of business. If you want to take them off from it, yeah. And um, what's the the one that was in place where Two Sons was? Fork and Gavel was still on there, but I noticed that Two Sons wasn't on there, which I thought was weird. I we think. probably haven't used them yet. Maybe. I thought that was weird. Pretty sure I. Well, not- if she hasn't written a check to them, they wouldn't be on there yet. That's how that works. So we probably haven't done anything with them. But we're about we're to- about to write a check to them. That's why I was. That's why I, it came to my head that right that it was they were not they were okay. not on there. <laughs> um. I'm pretty sure I did not see two sons on there. No, I bet a fork and gavel was on there. They weren't. Yeah. But they get, but vendors get added throughout the year. We just approve it once a year. It doesn't mean, Nicole, just so you know, it doesn't mean that we won't do business with anybody that's not on that list. Okay, perfect. Yeah, right. You yeah. Oh, uh, so just so you understand that, right? This is their first time voting on the vendors. So that's why we do, we just do this once a year. So a motion to um, um, to approve the vendor list dated 4-324. I will make that motion. I will second that. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh, I I anybody I abstaining? Say. Okay. Oh, town highway Perfect. speed limit signs. That'd be another so, for yeah. us ARPA funds since we technically went funding for them. That would be so nice. That's true to get them all done at once. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get it all yeah. Done, but yeah. Yeah, I'd ask, I asked um, Justin to add this to the agenda because um, for one, we had spoken about it at town meeting that we were still working on this this big issue. Um, and I knew we were having studies, you know, speed studies done right. um, and kind of wanted to know where those had landed and where we were to be at with speed limit signs. So I like the idea of um, some marginalized so that we... Yeah have them so people see that we're actually we're we're working on this exactly. is it also that, that would it make sense for for brent to reach out to steve and just fill him in on an update just he is very adamant about it and i feel like we owe him a response yeah we yeah. could but i spoke with him after town meeting and he was really <laughs> grateful we were still working on it um but yeah we i'm surprised he hasn't yeah, been in Really, but... I was just gonna say, I think that proactive versus reactive, and, and maybe just it'd be a good chance for Brent to meet a town community guy, you know, and just say, Hey, yeah. you know, it, Brent's it, it put, put Brent up to speed with it, and then that way he, yep, he knows that he can call Brent when that situation comes up or he wants an update. Yep, <clears throat> you, you don't know what we've just done. What, um, my job, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. Do we have do we have a know what the total number is for all the signs? Uh, I and feel we, and, like Mark, did we do that? I see you just unmuted. I, I think, I think no, it's I don't think we've done that. 
what I what I really want to know is, are we good to post Steve Rose? So let's not let's not go talk to him. Let's put up the speech limit sign. Let's put battle roll back. Let's. Yeah, but I'm just waiting right? for the go ahead. But I don't know where we're at with that. Yeah, I I wasn't sure where we landed either, Mark. Because I know we were waiting on some speed studies, and then I think Battle Row was an issue with ordinance, right? Right, right. So that was a town village ordinance right. issue, if I remember Correct. correctly. Correct. So I don't know where we're at with that. I do know that the traffic study was done because I remember the tubes were around. Well, I remember one of my plow trucks yeah. caught one of the tubes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I know that I know the Centerville up by Steve's is done. Oh, I don't good. Know what the outcome of it is. Okay, just but I know that was done last fall. Rachel, Let's get which that. road do we want to discuss? Because I mean, I got the traffic ordinance amendments here for Battle Road, the paved side. The new speed limit sign was supposed to be thirty-five miles an hour. It was posted twenty-five miles uh, an hour from Vermont Route One Hundred going three-tenths of a mile west in the new 45-mile-an-hour uh, speed zone was posted uh, 25, also unopposed from uh, three-tenths of a mile west of Vermont Route 100 to Mason Road, which is 1.8 miles. No. Well, that, that's how it was posted, but we have... Well, yes. Centerville Road. What is, is that... Are we done with the study? Are we can we move forward with posting that? But what is it? No, the, the study comes from when the planning commission does the right. And I think that one's yeah. So which studies are done? I think most of them got done. Actually, Justin, did you send that to me? Oh, yeah. I, I yeah, believe like, Cricket Hill had the traffic counters too. I think it was Cricket Hill and Centerville was last fall. And Battle Row, I think, is village town ordinance problem. Yeah. <laughs> Which I don't know if that one's resolved. Yeah, you know, the last on Cricket Hill it may have five year posting of 35 miles an hour verified with highway. Okay. Okay. And Centerville, you got what on that one back? Graveland paid the new speed limit was supposed to be at 35. So we're good to post them. This slight board just need to make an ordinance. Is that how? Yes. But right? Yeah. We need the town ordinance. So you've got to, the slight board's got to do the ordinance for the sheriff's property to enforce it, correct? Yes, correct. That's so I think that's what we're waiting for is that part, I believe. Then we can post, I think. I believe. Right. Once we have the study. Well, the study's done, Susan, yeah. I think. Or no. So I think right now all we're waiting for is the select board, I think, to adopt that, I think. Yeah, I think we just have to say, okay, go ahead and do it. Right. <laughs> so, and put that in an ordinance so Roger or whatever can enforce it I believe right yep. yes because yep. that's where we were messed up with the, the village streets so the village put an ordinance and the town put an ordinance and that they were conflicting the problem with the battle row one was we were conflicting with the village and yep. the town said one thing the village said one thing supposedly correct but it is a town road so I don't know how that exactly from years, years and years. Yeah. Right. Okay. So cool. And then we, we for the sign costs, we, we get that together. We could, we could put that through ARPA, right? Well, and I thought well, we, we had already know, approved. How much, what's the cost? I thought we'd already approved to do that. But that was a 901 sign. That was 901 signs. Oh. We were, we only did some of them because of the cost. And we, we approved. Oh, okay. We approved. Okay. We approved the nine one one stuff, but I don't think we've done anything with speed limit stuff. We but did some, thing, right? But the other thing, Matt, is is some of them are not had a speed study yet. So can we do that without doing all the speed studies on everything? <laughs> that I'm not one hundred percent, so I don't want to. Well, at the Noise Farm Road, it said correction to ordinance, very short road section, adopt without study. 
Correct. Right. Out of five yep. to 35 miles an hour. Right. It was posted at 25. Right. So again, I'm I'm just I'm coming back and <laughs> focusing on the cost of the signs. And part of the reason that we spread it out over several years is I think Jen can correct me, but I think it's like we have five thousand dollars a year for signs, and this was going right. to be like twenty thousand dollars in signs. So exactly. that was part of the reason we spread it out. If we use the ARPA money, we just need to know how much money to allocate for the ARPA funds to do all the signs and get it all done this year. I've okay. got that for you. Okay. Um, from the October 24th, 2023 minutes, it says uh, $200 per sign with a cost of 11600 for the presented list and an additional thirty hundred fifteen thousand four hundred dollars total for the additionally mentioned signs and noted the annual sign budget is three thousand dollars. Okay. So fifteen thousand four hundred total. Fifteen thousand what? Four hundred. So be wild and go to sixteen because who knows what? And that's the post and everything, right? It is. Okay. Okay. So this is something that we really want to do, right? We can do up to $16,000. Okay. So I move that we use up to $16,000 of ARPA funds to purchase the road speed limit signs for said roads that studies have been done on, right? That we are yep. allowed to change. Yep. There we go. Problems. Okay, you got a second? I'll second that. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Room. aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody in state? No, and I'm so excited to get this done. Okay. Yes. I know it. We'll, <laughs> we'll have you give Steve a call and let him know that we're what we're doing. Yes, ma'am. And the battle row people will be so happy to. Oh, yes. And I want to repeat back that motion. It's um, to use up to 16,000 of ARPA funds for roads where the traffic study has been performed. Yes. Yeah, correct. So, can those be done immediately? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Okay. Do it up. Get ready for a flood of people in the next meeting. Want more signs or don't want the signs? <laughs> it always happens. Yeah, don't worry. Right, the other side will come in and be opposed to it. Exactly. We can't well, win. At least we're trying. I love it. This is great. Moving along. Okay. The uh, town and village office space. They're moving on May the weekend of May fourth. So they're going to be closed on May sixth. Be opening on May seventh. So. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, as of Tuesday, May 7th, we should have that space. From what I have. <laughs> and that's based on their Facebook post from the village of Hyde Park. Mm -hmm. And Brian, the general manager, confirmed via newsletter. Okay. So. Like I said, that okay. Um, I did have one question regarding the newsletter in the church. Can the second congregational church can they post their events in the newsletter as long as it's not religious or even? Oh yeah, because they have a, they have a breakfast the first Saturday of every month, right? Yeah. There we go. There's another one. Well, let, let me write that up. Is it, like anything can go in there except for religious or political, pretty much. I don't think I so. Think so. <laughs> Any event, yeah. Okay. What are you Okay. It says upcoming Hyde Park Energy Committee. They want to be on the agenda for May. Okay. <laughs> And I have a meeting with them May 14th. May 14th, okay. Cool. Okay. We got all stuff checked off there. It's checked off here. 
Okay, I think. Oh, you can send me with that. We'll mm -hmm. can start the newsletter in the subject line. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let me see the 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 order. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Nope. Okay. No, I didn't say anything. Let me see. I think for executive session we have we have uh, two things: the uh, the the proposal from the union, and then um, uh, talking with Jen about uh, her proposal and put some proposed changes. Um, I'm. I'm uh, it's the order to do it. I'm I'm going to ask um, since it's talking sort of in depth about an, an individual's job that it just be the select board present for the conversation with Jen. So in doing that, do we want to do the once we go into executive session, do the uh, do the union first because I think that will be fairly short. Does that work for everybody? Yeah. Are we sure. coming out and then going in again? Um, no. No. So we're, so yeah, we're going to talk about both subjects, but it's who's present for. As I say, have you guys here? We'll do the do the union first, and then when we take a break, you both leave and just be the select board with Jen. Okay, oh, good. Justin, it looks so funny looking at you in the corner. <laughs> it looks like you're in trouble. <laughs> well, that, that's what happened. We said, you know, it's got to go into the corner. <laughs> okay, so right. we need a motion to go into executive session. I'll make a motion to go into executive session. I will second that. Okay, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody aye. opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. Have a good night. Bye, Mark. Thank you. Bye, Mark. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Oh, here we are. So okay. we've got so Savannah gonna survive this yeah. motion or do okay. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> All right, so make a motion for Brent to draft up a letter for um our uh in response to the union. Thank you. Response to the union the highway contract. Okay. All right. And we can do both at once, right? Okay. And then I make a motion to promote Jen to finance director. I'll second it. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstaining? Okay. I make a motion to adjourn. I second it. Exactly. <laughs> I like y'all. Can we do it? <laughs> yes. Hey, you guys, while we, you while we do it, the, um, I, mean, I got, okay. okay, I got a, uh, got a nice picture of a bear on my porch this evening while I was here. Oh. Uh -huh.